Still not subscribed, I see. Subscribe, bro. Subscribe, bro. Subscribe, bro. Yo! God, dude. You brought me back for another one, another video. If y'all know, yeah, I know. You watch my videos, my last couple videos, you'll know. Today's the day. It's my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday, big 26. And thank God I made it another year. Thank God I made it past 21. You know, my people don't make it past 21. Barely 18 much of the time. But I just want to thank God that I was able to be one of the ones that did make it. And for all my fallen soldiers, all my fallen brothers, rest in peace. But, hey, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to live today to our fullest. You know what I'm saying? But I got some work to do. I got some business to take care of. Today, I'm bringing y'all a shoe review. Y'all know Jordan drops every single Saturday. Whether it's heat or straight trash, Jordan drops every Saturday. And this Saturday is my birthday. I had to I had to partake in this one. I do not have a pair of ones. I don't have a pair of ones. It's not that I don't like ones. It's just the fact that when I was coming up, when I was in high school, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young whipple snapper. When I was a young whipple snapper, they weren't really dropping ones like that. They weren't really dropping ones like that. It was more fours, threes, fives, and like sixes. That was like more the the wave when I was coming up in high school. I got a few pairs of shoes. I kind of was a sneakerhead for a little bit, but you know, man, I went to college and you know, what I'm saying financially went downhill, so I haven't really been copping shoes like that. But I just recently jumped back into the game. Let's do a fit check real quick, since you know what I said we talking about you guys talk about that shit. I got the St. Louis fitted on. I got the Nike glasses on. Playing no games. I got the five man button up. Got the beater underneath, got the gold rosary chain, got the gold watch, I got black cargoes on as the bottoms. And for the feet, we got some heat. I got the white cement reimagined threes. I, me, I don't lace my shoes up. I either leave them like this or I go straight loose, le loose, le loose lace gang. That's me. I'm loose lace gang, meaning I'll have them hanging out the side. You know how you do the Air Force Ones or shit like that? I don't tie my shoes. I leave them like this or I loose lace them. Uh, so let's see what it is. But yeah, back in my day, we were we weren't getting ones like that, so I never really got to cop a pair of ones. I was really getting like 11s, 13s. Oh, y'all know. Yeah, if y'all know, y'all know. If you were my age, you know these was hitting, hitting. Nigga, these were hit ting in high school. You had the Aunt Pearl motherfuckers. You had the pennies, the coppers, the 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 glow in the dark motherfuckers. What was the galaxies, nigga? The, the fighter jets, nigga. These these shoes was Hemothy when I was coming, bro. If you had a pair of these, you had money. I begged my mama for these shoes. I said, man, I got one seventy five. They cost two twenty five. Paying two hundred dollars back in the day for some shoes was nuts brother was nuts my boy was you you wasn't just paying 20 dollars for no shoes now i mean like you is now nigga you had to work for that shit nigga me i was selling candy i was going knock on people's door trying to cut their grass i was cutting my people grass nigga i was hustling for my shoes i was not getting no handouts boy a lot of people think that i was dressing nice in school and i was just getting it boy i was working my ass off for that make sure you working for what you get but if you had a pair of them in school you was lit you know i got that Ugh. I got the Kobe's, the beans, RIP, the bean. I wish I would have kept these in mint condition. These shoes are worth $1,000 now, but these are the moonwalking Kobe's. Uh, tribute to Michael Jackson, one of my favorite Kobe's ever. Only Kobe's ever. Um, Just one of the top shoes. Uh, some of the new shit I got would be like the white cement twos, the white cement threes on my feet. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I'm gonna grab a box or two. I got some white Supreme, man, some white Supreme, some black Supreme Air Forces. Hey, I don't support black uh, black Air Force One activities unless it's the Supreme kind. Because, I mean, you get money. Nah, I'm with y'all. But enough of the bullshit. 
let's get back into it and get into this shoe review. All right, let's get into this shoe review. First, we're gonna start off with the box. They really gave me a damaged box. Should have got a discount for that. Should have got a discount for that, but hey, it is what it is. I like this box. I like what they're doing with these new sportswear box. Even though like, like the Supreme one, like I like how they add the little context to it, like the shiny black on the on the matte black box. I like how they got the the UNC blue on the black lettering. That's pretty live. I like how they've been doing that. What did I say? 1985 Air Jordan. Mm. But yeah, like I said, I like these boxes. Especially the, I like the red ones too. They have the red ones with the white letter, and those are pretty cool. I like the ones the dunks come in. But pretty simple box, pretty slick, nice color on it. Simple paper, very simple paper. It's like your gift wrapping paper that you just shove into a box. They ain't do nothing special with that. I like when they do this like special things with like on the Air Force Ones, you know how it says Air Force One all over it. Or on the Jordans, it'll have like the wings on it. I mean, twos that have the wings on the paper, but this is just natural paper, normal paper. Here we go, Jordan 1 silhouette. You got the UNC bottoms, regular Nike bottom. Same as the Dunks with the Nike and the swoosh on the bottom in the middle. I like that they added the tumble leather toe box. You don't know if y'all can see that, but there's tumble leather on the toe box, all around the toe box. You got your normal, uh, what I, I'm gonna call this polyester tongue. You got your white middle with your black Nike check. You got your urine seat going around the heel. And then on the on the wings, on the by the on the wings by the uh emblem, you got your uh UNC blue also on the inside. They got this. What is this? Oh nice. Definitely about to rock one black lace, one blue lace. Definitely about to do something like that. No kizzy. Size 10, of course. And on the inside, it's pretty much a, just a basic all black. All black and so man. Nothing serious. Got the UNC blue Nike here on the inside. Yeah, you guys can see that. Size 10 on the inside. Probably gonna take these black laces out. Let me get the other shoe for you. I'll give you a side by side. Give y'all a double. Give y'all a full 360 spin. Full 360 spin on them. Might be 180. Hold on. Oh, there we go. 360. That's really not even 360 because I didn't go all the way around. <laughs> but anyways, y'all gets the gist. Nice shoe, nice shoe. Great material. It kind of looks like they got, I don't know if this is tumbled leather on the side or if that's just, it's kind of creasy, but this is my first pair of ones. I've never really got ones before. I'm excited because I'm about to put some shit on. If y'all can't tell, I put it on a little bit. <laughs> I do pretty good and I'm about to do something crazy with these. And I promise you, if you follow the Instagram, IG, Duffel Bag Drew, you will catch the pics of these. You will catch when I wear these. If they don't get resold. Because if you come with the right ticket, they can go. But enough of the but enough of the review. Like I said.
No, this is not a different day. This is the same exact day. It's just that when I went outside to do that on foot, I sweated through my shirt and I had to change. But hey, it just be like that in Texas. But I go hope you guys enjoyed the in-hand and on-foot review of these UNC uh, Toe Jordan 1s. I uh, hope that you guys will be able to cop a pair. Hope you guys have the same luck that I had getting a pair. I doubt they're left in stores. I got these off a of raffle at Hibbit Sports. When I looked online, they were all pretty much gone. There was none left in any sizes. And uh, the guy told me when I picked these up that I was the last of three people left to come get their shoe. Cause I'll be, I had asked like, hey, is anybody coming? Cause if there was a leftover shoe, like a 13 or a 12 or something, I probably would have bought it and resold it. But he said that I was, that they still have people coming to come get their shoe. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, I thank you for coming back and showing love to the channel. I really appreciate that. I ask you to continue to show love, continue to like, continue to comment, continue to subscribe and share. Tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your grandpa, tell your grandma, let them come enjoy the, let them have the opportunity to come and join the duffel bag family to see if they like it, at least give the channel a view. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first video, I appreciate you guys coming in, taking the time to watch the video. Actually like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, join the duffel bag family. We got nothing here but motivation, positivity, and good energy, and we in our bag all year long, getting to the money, not letting nobody stop us. Don't let nobody hang on your coat who shouldn't be there. Don't let nobody persuade you to do things wrong. Do you do it to the fullest and to the best of your ability. Remember, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Take that step, take that risk. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't take that risk. You're gonna stay in the same spot. Don't be complacent.